Hey there, how are you today? In today's video, we are going to swatch some Renaissance. Now, these paints were donated to me by a very kind donor, Patreon, that wishes to stay anonymous. So I totally respect that. And they let me choose what colors I wanted and got me the Renaissance because it's actually really hard to get hold of Renaissance over in the UK. Whereas if you are in Canada or US, there is a person who sells the Renaissance paints over I think on Etsy so I will leave a link down below for their shop. We are going to be swatching 16 colours. Interesting thing about Renaissance, uh, let's compare it with another palette that I made at the same time. You can see that the paints are keeping their shape as I pour them just an M, M gram and all the other palettes are pretty similar except for the renaissance renaissance seems to be more i wouldn't say water but it's definitely more liquid and fluid and even though i poured these exactly the same way as all the other colors they have definitely spread into the well more also if you notice here i'm not sure if i'm going to get much color out of the prussian blue because i poured a whole load out and it was all just binder. I don't know if that is normal for Renaissance Prussian Blue, but this is definitely the most amount of binder separation I've ever seen in a tube of paint. But we'll see how everything swatches. Let's take a look at the colors that my very kind donut sent me. First is transparent yellow, and it is made with PY150. Next is Indian Yellow, and that is made with PY83. Transparent Gold Ochre, that's with PY150 and PR101. Scarlet Red, PR254. Permanent Carmine, PR48, colon, 4. Quinacridone Red, that is PV19. Purple Magenta, PR122. Ultramarine Blue, PB29. And then we have Prussian Blue, PB27. Mm -hmm. 
Taylor Blue, PB15, Column 1. Cobalt Turquoise PG50 Helio Cerulean PB15 colon 3 Prussian green PG7 and PB60 Helium Turquoise PB fifteen colon three Hooker's Green PB15 colon 3, PG7 and PY42. And finally, we have Gold Green and it's a crack out of a list of pigments with PY3, PG7, PY150, PY151 and PBR6. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to thank the person that have sent me this. I am always so very grateful when you guys sent me free paints. I don't know how I got so lucky that I get free paints from people. It's very kind and generous and it really keeps this channel going because it means that I can invest more money into the big Colossal Color Showdown, which as you guys know is a ridiculously expensive series to make and it also means that I get to show you guys more brands than I could ever possibly do by myself especially those brands that are very difficult to get hold of over in the UK where I am so thank you so much for sending me these paints and you very generous kind person you know who you are that's all 16 colors painted we'll start off with this side of the sketchbook and my first impression there's two impressions one was that the paints were slightly harder to re-wet than some of the top brands that we have things like daniel smith and holbein and core and all those top brands were Whereas with the Renaissance, I did have to scrub a lot with the brush before I could get a good load on. And then the second thing is when I thought I got a good load on because I was scrubbing away at the paint, when I got it on the paper, I have to say some of the colours are a little bit less intense than I would have expected. In fact, most of the colours we have here were a little bit paler 
not too pale. It's not like student quality color. It's definitely better than student quality. But compared to some of the top brands, it's a fraction a little bit paler than what I expect from a top brand. On this page shows a little bit more what I'm talking about with colors being a little bit less bright and intense than I would expect them to be. This is a Thalo Blue Red Shade. And I would say that's pretty pale for a Thalo Blue Red Shade. And this is Thalo Blue Yellow Shade or Green Shade. And it's a lot more intense than this one, but still for a PB15 colon 3, it's still pretty pale. Hideous Turquoise is a pretty nice color and a lot more intense than the other colors. But again, compared to something like Daniel Smith's Thalo Turquoise, it is still a little bit pale. Gold Green is lovely. It's as I would expect them. But again, I still don't understand why I need five different pigments to create gold green. So that is the 16 colors of Renaissance. I would say I would, for, on first impression, I haven't done a thorough testing comparing to other brands like we do on the Closet Color Showdown. But I would say that this is a slightly below top brand but definitely so much better than student grade and i know they're very affordable so if you are looking to get a budget economical brand and you don't want to go all the way to the top brand then this would be a good brand to go for just don't forget that they are going to be harder to re-wet which means you're going to have to scrub more so avoid using expensive natural hair brushes because that's really going to tire your brush out very fast and that you're not going to get as intense a color as a top brand color i would say i would give this brand seven out of ten but then again i've only tried a small selection i think they have 70 plus colors so it's way too early to make a final decision on this brand yet and i'm looking forward to testing these colors more in the future so what did you think of these colors and what is your experience with renaissance if you have tried them before let me know if i'm doing something wrong or maybe they're better off being used to fresh paint i don't know so do let me know if you have any tips on getting even better results with these paints thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye